Howdy y'all. Well we're going to see if we can put this semi-automatic marauder back together. Alright. First thing that goes in is the valve. Uh, here's their retaining screws for the valve. Here. We've already got everything cleaned up, ready to go. We uh, did a few mods to it when we had it apart. I didn't, I didn't bother with looking at why the barrel is not parallel to the to the tube. We just not going to worry about that. Okay, so we got this is the top. Make sure I'm still in the picture here. This is the top. So where did the port go? There is it. That's going to go right there. Now this got an o-ring back here that's really not captured so i'm not sure what that does anyway we got to slide this down through there but what you got to watch for is these holes right here uh gotta make sure we don't cut the o-ring all right Here's how we get it started, and then I use this long wooden dowel rod to push it all the way in. Alright, here we are at the O-ring. See, almost forgot it. Got to make sure it doesn't get cut right there. This is a pain in the butt. That's why I tried to design the, my last gun. I didn't have anything to go past. All right, here's the second one. This is the most important one too. Oh, it slid right on by, no problem. All right, so now we're going down to, shouldn't have any more O-ring problems. Well, maybe that one there, it really doesn't seal, so I don't know what the problem is. Why wow, that's there, probably could have left it off and just stuck it in from the back side. All right, let's see, we got to go just a little bit more. get it lined up all the ports lined up Let's see where are we did we go too far I think I went too far God darn it I didn't see it so oh there it is there's the port all right so we got that port lined up. We can take our screws and put in here. I don't tighten them all the way down. I just get them all lined up. I don't know 
how long this will take. I may do some cuts in here to speed things along. Alright, this here is the spacer that goes between the valve and the regulator. That's, that's the plenum area, which isn't very big. That just drops in. Alright. At least the regulator doesn't have to be in any position. This is the gauge port, which is going to be right there. So we will have to pay attention to O-rings again. trying to cut it you gotta be careful not to cut it with a little tool drop screwdriver here at the same time try not to let that hole cut it either there we go there's one the second one went pretty quick and now we got the fill port and it went pretty quick too Fill port lined up. Uh, here's the fill port adapter. It's got an O-ring on the bottom of it. Let's get a little lubricant on it. This doesn't have to be real tight. It's just And then your gauge also has a O-ring in the bottom of the deal down here. Just hand tight's all it needs. All right. Uh, this is the depinger, uh, dampener resonator. Basically these tubes under high pressure when you hit the, hit that valve and there's a sudden air loss, there's a, usually a ping, pinging sound. And this kind of helps reduce that. And what I'm going to do is I want to push it in to about right there. That's about where it was. about there that'll work all right fill fill cap I 
don't know if y'all see me put that in there or not on camera or not, but basically it goes in here. <clears throat> When it hits bottom, you're done. All right, next thing. Let's see here. Let's uh, put the barrel in the breech back in. All right, now. On this, this is the bolt for it. Now, you, you need to drive this pin out to get the bolt out itself. And I didn't do that because I didn't want to do that. But you drive it out from this little hole right here. Anyway, it's like I just got it good and clean in there. Pretty free. Got a little bit of oil on it. So now we need to buffer spring goes in. And then this is going to go on the end of it. To get that in there, you got to, just so happens this, this works just fine. Push it either the way in, catch the end of that spring, and then this drops in there. I don't know if it was on camera or not, but I'm holding that spring back so they can drop that in, and then just let it go there you go that's back together all right uh, let's mount this up to the well yeah let's mount this on here on the front side Guess I need to. This is the transfer port. Hope y'all see that or not. There's no ring on both sides. Goes right on top of the valve there. I don't know if I've mentioned this before I put it on there or not, but this is simple blowback, is what this is. Uh, I meant to show y'all before, but right down in there is where the end of the bolt is and it's got a hole in it and it's basically once you the air goes in that pressure is pushing the valve that way the bolt that way all right let's uh right there I'm not getting it tight yet. We need to put the hammer in next. Now, I'll show a picture of this before and after, but I polished that up to a mirror finish, or almost a mirror finish. Got it really... Really slick. Just gonna put a little bit of oil on it. We gotta take this screw out here first. Drops in here like that. And I screwed up, see? But this is my first time putting this together, so that's why we learn it. It's like I learned you don't uh, take the trigger off of it unless you either decock it or empty the air on my other video. All right. Yeah, we forgot a couple things here. Uh Need a little bit of blue Loctite. And 
and that's going to go right there. Yeah, we forgot a couple things here. I also forgot the cocking lever. It's got to go there. Let me. Fun, fun, fun. All right. to put the hammer spring and the uh, end cap with the and this this screws in and out and that's what helps preload the the tension on this I have it from all the way this way I have it five and a half turns that way that's going to be the maximum amount I think they said six but that's about all you're going to get out of it Get the two screws for the breech. Most of the guns are, especially your Benjamins and Crossmans, they're all kind of simple designs. Not real hard to put together. All right. All right. That's good. Let's uh, put the hammer in. I mean, trigger in. Be careful on these triggers. If you're not, if you don't have the hammer in the right spot, and you try to tighten this thing down, it will, you'll break the your shear in there. I know that on the, because I used this trigger on a couple of my other guns. Let's see, see it's cocked, and I don't want it cocked. I to try to tighten that down it broke broke it yeah there we go just make sure this end plate is in the right spot for this screw to hold it in place I'm gonna go back there and loosen these back up a little bit this a little bit more play to get this screw started there we go It's got flats on it for the screws, so it's pretty much always goes right back in the same spot.
screws a little too in far, I believe. All right, I messed up again. Breach has got to come back off. Ah, been a while since I took one of these apart. Or this style of gun apart. Bur the barrels hitting the transfer port is what's happening. So we'll loosen these up. do is be able to raise it up just a little bit to get past the transfer port. No, nope, it's going to have to come completely off. Learning how to do this. This is what's fun to me. I like, I like tinkering with stuff. I like building stuff. You know? The guy that took his daddy's drill apart to figure out how it worked. Yep, that's me. All right, we got to go. I should know that the uh, procedure on all of it anyway. All right. O-ring fell off in there, so I got to get that out with my pick. Pick to pull O-rings out. Yep. That should have went in there first. I knew that. Just wiggling around and finding the right spot on it. Let's just go ahead. Need to get this on there. This little O ring goes on first. This is your shroud, which screws your, holds your shroud on. Much better. Like I say, I may add, edit, edit a little bit of this. I ain't figured out how to do uh, fast forward on my uh, video editor. All right, 
it's not in the right spot. There we go. It wasn't in front of this little screw in the hammer. sure that functions they're all tight there the uh, end piece to go on the barrel now I did not take the baffles out of here or nothing ain't really nothing to see that way I don't have to restack them and all that by previous video and I don't even see where the original barrel brand is here it is here's the original barrel brand and like I said it was touching up here underneath here I might have been able to take this o-ring out of there and it been okay but what I done was I 3d printed me another one it's 50 thousandths longer and that holds 50 thousandths up that's all it needed. Looks good in center. Only thing this is really for is just to I mean, you know, you hit it and you don't just really knock the crap out of it. Kind of a protection thing. End cap. And where to lay the stock? Oh, it's right here. on there all right it's back together fill it up with air and we're going to test some mods that we did to it. I didn't tell you what they was, but I don't know if they're going to work. I may be back in here tearing this thing apart again. Who knows? But there it is. One Benjamin semi-automatic Marauder back together. Thanks for watching.